lunch stuff's all ready. I gotta grab the stove out of the big boat. Extra propane tank. Do you guys drink, you know, are you guys big coffee drinkers? Should we bring a thermos of coffee or anything or no? No, I'm not. I like it. I'll drink it if you bring it, but don't bring it for me. I'll probably sip on it. So what, uh... Well, Asher, we got a big day today. We are going to call this Adventure Day. We're going out for the whole day. We're going to a secret spot. We're not going to disclose the location today. Not yet. But it's a big trip. We're taking the boat. We're stealthing out in the dark. We're going to set up. As the tide drops this morning, we're going to smash our limit of brand, and we're going to put the mega dive bomb spread out, the biggest one that's ever been done in Coal Bay. And then we're going to smash a bunch of Canada's as they're coming out of the berry fields, heading back out to the lagoon at about 10, 1030. Then we're going to do a nice shore lunch, and then we're going to pound the rest of our birds all afternoon, pick away, and then come back on the tide. Because once the tide goes out, unless you guys are really good or we get real lucky, you're out of luck. Huh? We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be over there. The tide's gonna drop out. We've got a 3.7 foot tide to deal with today, which is good. So we can get into where we want to go, and then uh, it's gonna be a big day. Lots of fun. Let's do it. Are you ready for the big day, Kate? I'm ready. What do you got on the big day, Jack? Huh? I'm covered. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I'm excited. How about you, Mike? I'm really excited. You had a big day yesterday. It was a good day yesterday. <laughs> that was a big day. I'm pretty excited too. That's the way I like to start off. You get, you, get, you know, you got to break the, you got to break the cycle. Somebody's got to be the first guy out there getting that band. <laughs> That's right. The first one's always the hardest. After that, they just start rolling in. Today's Tuesday. So we've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We got so much hunting Saturday. left to do. It's not yeah. even funny. <laughs> We got the big day today. <laughs> <laughs> we got, uh, didn't you say you think we've got some weather coming we in? We got some weather. We're going to get a little typhoon here in the next couple days, probably around Thursday. We'll still hunt from shore, no problem. But we'll still have some hunting, but it's going to be less than, uh, less than ideal. Sure. <laughs> We're going to make it happen. That's it. All right. Well, I got to finish up. We got to get. I will tell you, actually, the last time I hunted Brent, when I was blowing like 40, it actually worked out really well because they would come and they'd like, be flying over you, just powering into the wind. I was sitting there, I didn't see shit, but they were like 20 yards high. I was just sitting there looking, 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 and they're like moving one foot up. <laughs> Pluck them right out of the sky. Bam, honey. Who was? I think she got a little wind today. She's blowing about 15 to 17, and uh, it's gonna be adventure day. That's all I can say. You sound tired. What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm just. Uh, I was up late last night working on all that. You getting uh, old or what? All that pimping that social media. You getting old or I'm what? I'm getting old. The old guy. Had four hours of sleep. Grinding. Grinding <laughs> in Alaska. Get so we're just putting in, we got about a 30 minute boat ride in the dark and then uh, we're going to try to smash brant, ducks and geese on an all day hunt. So it's a title game but we're getting in and uh, we're going get, to get it going. Get it. Just let me get pointed in the right direction before we start turning lights on because uh, <laughs> I got once I, if I lose my bearing out here I'm screwed. Okay, Jeff. Good? Yeah. I'll get out past this point. Okay, I'm on the water here. Fucking super duper nice right now. Yeah, 
probably no Brant in here right now because of high tide. Yeah. They're probably sitting way out in the dam. Yeah, the Brant are all sitting down. They're going to push down, but they'll come back. Oh, yeah. We yeah, want to hit that where point. Where are you going to park the boat? In that creek. We're going to leave it in some water, right? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, Charlie, a little bit to the left. A little left. I can see the middle. No, I know. That's why I'm saying we need to go 200 yards left. It's okay. I got it. We're good. Bears come right. There's a creek right here with salmon in it. The bears come right out through here. Awesome. We got a high tide right this minute. We got a 3.7 foot. You can hear the hear the birds in the background. The Canadas are lifting off. They've been in the berry fields. There's some freshwater ponds behind us. We're going to set up here on this point. We're going to put up a, a multi-spread today. We're going to hunt brant, Canadas, mallards, a little bit of everything. But we got to get going. The birds are flying. we got about 10 minutes before shooting time. Let's get after it. got a big spread for this, like 15 dozen. Um, 10 dozen B2Fs and 5 dozen black and whites. That's right. And uh, we're setting them out as far in the water as we can, so you'll see some decoys that are partially underwater, and that's because the tide is falling right now. So a little at a time. More and more of these decoys are going to be exposed, so that keeps us from having to just constantly go out, move them out, move them out. So uh, by the time we start shooting and stuff, a lot of these decoys will be exposed but uh, I think it's gonna get get right uh, quick this morning and maybe we'll see a bear or something come through our spread that'd be pretty cool V2F black and white combo spread in the ocean salt water <laughs> Brant and Lucian brown hmm. bears how you feeling about today's spread? <laughs> I think it's gonna be a freaking blast. It's beautiful we, out here, isn't it? It's beautiful. Hopefully we get to see some bears this morning. Yeah, that'd be cool. Just don't be the slowest guy. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gotta outrun the bears, it's gotta outrun you. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Charlie's custom painted dive bombs. <laughs> we got the big show coming up folks. I'm putting my reputation on it. Look at that. We just had one come right over top of us. Had to put the water gear away. Now we're getting serious with the duck gear. <laughs> Got a nice looking spread, I can tell you that. Yeah, we do. Shit's gonna rock them, rock them and sock them. Damn right. We're gonna. But we need to dig, get our hides because they're gonna show up and we're gonna be up here with our hands and our dick in our hands. Everybody dig a hole in here and then we're gonna cover up. We gotta get a nice hole dug up. Put you guys can sit in here, Asher and Jack maybe, and your dad. And these holes out. You can sit all the way back with your back right against that asher if you want. Yeah. On that little log, put a little padding on there if you want. Just to level it out, just for a seat. Shoot him! Shoot him! It don't matter, just kill oh, just, him. Yeah, just, it, yeah, just me... yeah, I'm on him. Take him. Kill him.
<laughs> How about that, Charlie? That's what I'm talking about, baby. Not even covered up yet. We ain't even covered up sitting here. Oh, look at him flying now. Oh, that is a nice one, though. This one, this one crossing looks pretty nice, too. Yeah, with the amount of birds you're going to be around, it's really just lifting up out of the fields. Be careful. Burn them. Good shit. Right, hang on one sec. Let's go get these cripples. Uh, it's so shallow, a dog will be able to get them. Oh, I got How's this for video? Asher. Black parcel double. No way. Let's go! Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> no Let's way. Go. Sierra Tangle. Show me that thing. Oh my god. Yeah, there's another one floating. Holy shit, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Copper, here. It's not even that old of a bird, is here, it? Here, guys, gotta carry these in for me. Copper, here. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Are you kidding me? Where's Nick at? Dude, show me that thing. Bro. Are you kidding me? Two tarsals in two days? Got a green yesterday and a black today. Let's go! Let's go! What? <laughs> All right, man. Look yeah. at that shit. Are you kidding me? This Let's is a go. guy right here, man. <laughs> this is your I said, man. Charlie? First group, man. We just rocked them and socked them. What we got? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So beautiful. they landed. You guys will see that we landed because we've been trying to pick out really, really good ones. So we let them come in, they sucked right into the decoys, man. And, and let more and more come. More and more picked out some good mature ones, and the man. more mature, the better odds you got. What plastic? Wow. Awesome, dude. That's freaking bad. Great ass. job. Get this shit up. Bro. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Fucking go. That's awesome. The quest for abandoned Alaska is over. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine coming in. Huh? Was I right again? I said, man, we got it's gonna happen. First thing, get set up, and uh, the birds are gonna come to Volcano Creek over here. Flipped the over my band, and then the black was hiding there all bloody. I'm like, retarded. <laughs> yeah. Well, how many we got? Nine, yeah. We're including the dog. So I'd like to be a little more selective now, if you for. Filming. Yeah. I'd we'll like just to... go, we'll go one shooter at a time. Yeah, I like Here's that. the only thing is we got all day and after ball yeah, another I'm just telling you, 45 another minutes time. we can't leave anyways. Right. <laughs> and we the just cameras can't. will come. Yeah, why don't we just shoot the best ones we can that are Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Decoys. Or and what we can do too is just be like, one person be like, look at these two ducks or whatever this is. Candace, never mind. Oh yeah, they'll come. The they're will come. fucking what coming too. <laughs>
Yeah, I'll get the dog one. <laughs> Dude, they Dude, did we are oh. Gosh, oh. Get a twist that I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> Get across? Yeah. The taverner? It almost looks like a. Uh... Oh, yeah, it's like one of the taverners. Yeah. yeah. Good looking bird. What do you think, Jack? Well, another day in paradise. Just getting after him. Dude, where's that nasty bird over here? What's that? I want to see that thing. The tarsal? Has it hidden somewhere? Yeah, somewhere. In this. There was one I picked up like I knew it was going to be banded. Yeah, me too. It was, so, it was like it so legit and it was not. We did pick out some good ones on that though. Yeah. Yeah, and like you said, the tarsal band one wasn't like epically. It wasn't even the best one, but it was shot. No, like I wouldn't mount this thing with my life depending on. Where are the black ones done? Where did they do those? It's just nasty. I hear more brant coming. Yeah, well, we got all day to kill five brant. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, How bad. That's straight stupid. <laughs> Well, we just came to our sweet spot here this morning. Um, it's a lot less pressured. There's, there hasn't been much pressure here. Set up a big spread of the silhouettes. A um, few of the Y boards there with silhouettes on them with a crosswind on this point. We have all our Canada's working from right to left mainly. There's some ducks off to the left. But yeah, they're just not pressured today. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, they're sucking in perfect. Um, had a lot of right in that decoy action with some Canada's and Brant. This morning was uh, pretty awesome for Brant. Had big flocks, 20 to 50, landing right in the decoys. The Y boards are rocking it. Um, yeah, it's been a great morning so far. Aerial assist. Oh, I think it's just a lesser. Well, folks, this is what's going on right here. <laughs> we got Brant coming in behind us while we're sitting here trying to do an interview. All their e Got him! Oh, that's a big one. What do we got out there, Charlie? We got a Brant swimming in the decoys right now, and uh, we got one down. We can't even get through this interview. You got water on your lens. It's okay. Okay. Hey guys, this is Captain Charlie down in Cole Bay. We are rocking the Brant and the geese today. We're hunting the V2 F's and the V2 black and whites for the Brant and the Canada's and the Cacklers, and it's happening. You're gonna get some great footage, stay tuned. I film all the time over the water. Take him! Got him! Good job!
Well, got out here this morning, got everything set up. Shooting was, I think, 8.15 this morning. And uh, got our brant wrapped up by about 9, 9.03. Uh, picked out some real nice ones. Uh, got a really nice black tarsal, Sierra Tango. Um, tide's dropping out, can't get the boat out now. But we're gonna stick it out for some Canada's, enjoy the scenery, uh, cook some shore lunch, see if some bears come out, and uh, just enjoy the day. See if we can't get some more Canada's. Shut up. This isn't good for you. This is a fucking net collar. This is a net collar. I'm going to show you if a net collar wins. Close your eyes and give him a single net. Filming that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, man, if you're picking your nose right there, I'm about to kick your fucking ass. So we finished up on Brant pretty quick and uh, now the tide is falling out. Everything's kind of slowing down. We you know, easily could have got out with the birds we had, but I mean, we're in Alaska. We're going to take it all in. We're going to stay out here, hang out, and uh, we're going to kill some lessers and some Aleutians. So what we're doing is just making our spread a little bit bigger as this tide falls, just covering more real estate. So. Uh, this is absolutely awesome. It's beautiful and you know, we're just going to stay out here and take it all in. Can't shoot any more Brant, but we can shoot a few more Canadas and we ain't going anywhere. We're going to stay out here and hang out today. <laughs> Go. Damn! They come out of nowhere. Holy shit! I, I was watching that other group. I was just like, I know that I saw the squeakers. I was just like, cut them. <laughs> I couldn't take it. Dude. That was fucking awesome. Bro, I was watching that group. That was me. Yeah. You look like the... What do we got? You know how to operate that thing? Oh, I know how to operate. We're gonna have ourselves a good lunch in between a little action here and get a little hot burrito in our mouth and keep on going, man. Keep the grind going. Heck yeah. Here's soda's cook. This is the drink box. Okay, we're gonna make a little. There's the wind blowing this way. Okay, I think right here is gonna work perfect. 
right here. We'll set my stove right there. Do you have a propane tank for it? We'll guarantee yeah, there's a couple in there. No, oh, they'll come, but it's okay. I right, say you don't want to let our camp chef tip of the week. Try it one way. Captain Charlie, professional outdoor chef. <laughs> Potatoes and some brant. Uh, yeah. What do you think this is? Some bullshit operation? Well, you kept saying. What do you think this is? COVID like flyways or something? Shit we've never had before. <laughs> <laughs> we just fucking. Just the fucking. He fucking come with the good guys, and that's what happened. The fun guys. The fun guys, baby. Chef chair. Look, gotta take this shit serious. No fucking around here. Uh, Just you heard Ooh, what do we got going? We got a little some potatoes, some fried potatoes. We got a little twice marinated bacon wrapped brant. We're gonna make some uh, fajitas out of it. Some potatoes, a little ranch dressing just to spice things up. Oh, we got some onions in there. We got some mm. fresh sauteed onions. I'm gonna show you my secret guide trick. Super raw. Super Keep them raw. Asher loves raw onions. We got a little <laughs> extra virgin olive oil from Italia. Oh, oh, can't show you the secret stuff. Look at that, just a little Cajun. A little Cajun <laughs> seasoning. <laughs> oh, and then the guide mix. Look at this little drink pouch. <laughs> <laughs> salt and pepper, all mixed, pre-mixed, because you never want to be without your salt and pepper in the bush. Love a salt. You like bush? I love the bush, baby. <laughs> you know what they say, Alaskans do it deeper in the bush, baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get this show going here. That's okay, we got propane, let's make sure we got fire. Oh, perfect. And this is just so when the igniter don't work because it's soaking wet from the 100% humidity we have most of the time. Never go. Perfect. You can dry those elements out real good with that. Dry them out. Perfect. Got fire. Light a big fatty if you want. <laughs> Whatever. I have a little fresh oil. A little olive oil. Get things started. Stick the butter out of the specialty bag. Oh, nice one. Hey, it's okay. It's in the bush. That's right. We ain't gonna worry about a little tundra. We gotta get some olive oil and butter going. Get some sauteed. Some sauteed onions going. Just be careful with the grass. Once you get stomped, it doesn't come out. Then the secret guide trick, you gotta have a little bit of coke to caramelize the onions. Mm. That just caramelizes up. Learned that back in my younger days. <laughs> it's been a long time ago, huh? Been a long time ago. I've been cooking shore lunches for a long time. I kind of think it's part of the whole experience. You just gotta, you can't have a good meal out in the bush, what's the point? Now it's time. Oh yeah. Some of that nice brant we've been eating all week. Oh, bacon wrapped brant. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. A little Lucian skillet we call this. Oh, brant and sauteed garlic onions and some potatoes. Oh, baby, she's gonna be good. Great hot meal on a cold day after hunting out here all day. 
You got the camp cookies you know what you over do? here. The steam, I bet you, right there, Charlie. Yeah, I know. I just. Mm. Mm, that might be money, actually. Okay, you want to get the plates out? I just flip her around a little bit more and get everything good and hot. This shit's going to be the money right oh, yeah. there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Bacon, brant, and onions, and potatoes. Like, how much? I don't know. More bush can you get than that? It's the most epic as it comes. Get the guys getting the pile picture over here. The pile master himself. That one right there. Brent? This one? Yeah, his head. Gotcha. No, 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 no. This one. Got. A little bacon, brant, ranch, potato. That's what I'm talking about. Get it in there. <laughs> you ready for one? I'm ready. Yeah, I'll get you one. We ain't getting no Subway sandwiches here. <laughs> Better than anything we find at Subway. You want some ranch on it? Yes, sir. A lime. You want to wrap it up for me and everything? Oh, yeah. What are you doing? I'm actually getting off. Oh, we got a little sloppy on the wrap. But there uh, you go. You're the man, Charlie. There you go. Appreciate it. Have a good lunch. <laughs> Well, Asher, you got to have a good meal when you have a good day of hunting, you know. That's right. There you go. You want a little ranch dressing on there? No, thanks. No ranch for you? So we're going to shoot the brant. And we're going to eat it. This is the brant we shot yesterday. Cleaned them up. Had them, actually, the brant we shot two days ago. First day, we had them, uh, we had them in a barbecue. Yep. And then we had them for the dinner. The wants it back. Last night. And now, fajitas. <laughs> it would have been too good. Who else didn't get lunch yet? Here he comes, here he comes. You gotta be fucking me. I'm gonna have to do the running man on him, Jay. Oh, yeah. Squeak. I don't have my squeaker. <laughs> what is going on? Back for round three. Yeah, we can't even get through lunch. There's so many birds up here. Oh, he's low this time. I admit that looked pretty damn good right there. Hey, look, Asher. Don't move. <laughs> Fuck it up my lunch. Got him! Dude. In the middle of lunch. Good work, cuz it wasn't happening here. I was just trying to shoot around him for you. Back up. <laughs> Cameron got that one. <laughs> wasn't my gun, that's an excuse. Who didn't get lunch work, yet? Buddy. Thank you. That's Thank the you. Cold Bay experience. Right. That's the Cold Bay experience right day. there. <laughs> oh man. Jeez. Here. Copper, here. Here. Shoot that. Girl. Ramp burritos. Ramp, Ramp burritos. Right in the Don't middle of lunch. You Don't get no better than that, fellas. I'm telling you. That was kind of dope. This shit's sick. <laughs> it is just straight up sick. Charlie's over here whipping in the kitchen. Screwing up my lunch menu. <laughs>
That burrito was fucking good. <laughs> so was that shot. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed. That was bad. Well, you know, late in the day, we got the tides dropping out. We're pushed way back from our cover, so we're uh, we're doing a little eelgrass coffin, little beach blind action with what we got. This is some of the, the birds' natural feed vegetation. There's a lot of it along the beach, so they love it, and they don't think anything of it. It's the most natural <laughs> hide there is. There you go. Get it. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kill the two, kill the two. I fucking folded that fucker. <laughs> I'm gonna wear his ass out. He's about to crunch. Yeah. On your left, after. Not bad. Well, it's another conclusion to a great day in Cold Bay. We had the big day today. We left this morning about 7 a.m., pitch dark, navigated through the darkness of Cold Bay. We arrived at our secret location, and man, we just racked them and stacked them. The guys pounded them hard. We got cacklers, we got lessers, we got taverners, we got teal, we got brant, we got it all. But we are, uh, we're getting tired. We had a big shore lunch. We just had a little uh, post hunt appetizer with the teal. We're probably gonna cook up a couple brant while we wait for the tide. But man, the dive bombs, uh, we put a schooling on them today and I was pretty excited. It's the first time I've really got to work the dive bombs the way they need to be worked and those V2s and the black and whites man we just uh, I don't know what to say I'm done man put a fork in me it's over <laughs> have a good one guys see you on another trip <laughs>